I have seen three videos about this sheriff in California, and I couldn't help but weigh in because it's my state. And I have talked about Prop 47 before, and this sheriff's reaction is totally about his sour grapes with that prop. That and apparently his love for felons. I want you to check this out, but I'm only going to show you snippets because old boy here goes on a long time about his grievances and politics, which by the way, he does in a sheriff's uniform, which is totally not allowed. But this entire diatribe seems to be about rules for thee, but not for me. Watch this. Hello, California. It's Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco. For the past 30 years, I've been doing everything I could to keep our community safe by arresting criminals, putting them in jail, and putting them in prison. For the last five years, I've been very critical about our governor for slashing our budgets, letting prisoners out early, for closing our prisons. And I've been critical for our attorney general for seemingly not caring about crime and really being an embarrassment to law enforcement. This love affair that our governor and our state legislature have with criminals is based on the belief that the criminals are not responsible for their own actions. They're a victim of society. And really, it's it's our fault. It's society's fault. It's business's fault. It's cops' fault. It might be my fault. Law enforcement, apparently, if you listen to our governor, is systemically racist. If you listen to our legislature, our laws are systemically racist. Our judicial system is systemically racist. They let them out. They give them food. They give them housing. They give them money. They give them drugs and alcohol now. And I'm wondering if I'm having a change of heart and deciding that, you know what, maybe I've been wrong. And I think I'm going to change teams. We need to go big. You know me, it, it, go big or go home. And I'm all in. I think it's time that instead of letting them out of jail and giving them alcohol and drugs and everything else, I think it's time we put a felon in the White House. Trump 2024, baby. Okay, so first of all, he says that for 30 years, he has done everything he could to keep California safe and lock up criminals and keep them off the streets. And I'm sure he believes that to be true. But the fact is the Riverside County Sheriff's Department has managed to make an arrest in only 4% of the crimes reported. So 96% of what his team is doing is going unsolved. And the conviction rate of what does go to trial is around 11%, what I believe is the lowest conviction rate for any county in the last 20 years. So everything this man can do is clearly not a lot. And he is blaming everyone but law enforcement for his results. Now, I'm sure he would say, well, that's because of budget cuts, because he says very clearly in the video that he has been critical for the past five years of our governor slashing his budget, except five years ago was what, 2018, 19? And the budget for the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation was 12 billion. And the most recent numbers for the same budget was 14.5 billion. So they're actually getting more money, not less. Sheriff Bianco has also been very critical of the Attorney General for not caring about crime and being an embarrassment to law enforcement. When for the past two years, the California AG has worked closely with local law enforcement, store owners, online marketplaces to deal with the very real problem of organized retail crime. Now let's talk about this man's very complete dismissal of the idea that our law enforcement or judicial system is systemically racist. When any reading of history or statistics or just plain old watching black people get murdered by law enforcement daily tells us the opposite. The facts are the incarceration of black people in America is almost five times higher than that of white people. Latinos is almost one and a half times higher. One in 81 black Americans is already incarcerated. And in California, where this sheriff is denying any racism and justice, one in 62 black people are incarcerated. At this point, you would have to be deliberately blind to not see the inequity in how our justice system and law enforcement treat people of color. Finally, and I think probably the most egregious lie, is this idea that California lets criminals out, showers them with food and housing and money and drugs and alcohol. I mean, this one is just such a dog whistle to the people who think they are better than those people. Yes, California does make efforts to make sure people who come out of prison have the necessities they need, like food and housing, to give them stability so they have the best chance of not needing to break the law again. But that's actually very smart public safety policy that is proven to cut down on recidivism. However, if you listen to evil Magnum P.I. here, it's like we're throwing ragers or felons in their new homes on the taxpayer dime. As I said before, it seems like this guy is just mad that back in 2014, the voters chose to pass Prop 47, which moved $800 million away from incarcerating nonviolent criminals and put that money into community prevention and safety programs instead. It's like we used to have one solution, put them in jail. And he liked that one. And this diversion of funds was to try other solutions, things like treatment of substance abuse, food assistance, after school programs, mental health treatments, employment services. And those actually work because no matter what this sheriff is implying, most people don't just decide to be criminals. Criminality is often a product of the society we live in. And the idea with Prop 47 was and still is that if you make the society better, the people in it will behave better because they won't need to turn to crime. 
You know who didn't need to turn to crime and did anyway? The felon this sheriff is now promoting for president. Donald Trump didn't need anything, but he wanted everything. He wanted to be president, so we know he committed 34 cases of business fraud to get it. He wanted a woman in a department store, so he penetrated her against her will to have her. He wanted to stay in power, so he instigated a violent uprising and self-coup to achieve his ends. And now, according to our Supreme Court, if he breaks the law in office, no one can hold him accountable. But here's this bastion of the law, the man who spent his entire career locking up criminals, enthusiastically wanting to change teams and support this criminal for president. So cool, way to bring your point about justice and fairness and criminals getting what's coming to them home. So go team criminal, I guess. Thanks for your racism and felony endorsement. Maybe you should reconsider being a sheriff since you clearly don't believe in the law.